This episode of the Modern Rogue brought to you by Policy Genius. Head on over to policygenius.com slash modern rogue. Start comparing quotes right now and take care of that life insurance thing. You know, that thing that insures your life. Oh, I know this one. You boil the water, then it's safe to drink. Good episode. Because I'm a modern rogue! Every time you come to me with one of these prison food thingies, I'm like, well, you can't make that in a prison with food. I answer I, 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 these riddles three. Yes, exactly. I turned into a dungeon master. <laughs> so right now, all I'm seeing is boiling water, but you said words that don't make sense in my mind, including sweet and sour pork. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so as far as I know, sweet and sour pork is made of uh, pork, and I don't know that you can get pork in a prison. Yeah, kind of. We're gonna work around that. You okay. can you can get to that. So we've done uh, we've done burritos uh, or enchilada. I don't remember tamale. Yeah, everybody Something. argues. Yeah, hey, it's pretty much yeah. a burrito. Cheese steak or not cheese steak? No, 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 no cheese yeah, yeah, Cheesecake. Ooh. That's totally different. We are going to attempt to make prison style recipe from Andy Roy, professional skateboarder and ex convict. Sweet and sour pork. Wow! Did I not expect the words professional skateboarder in there? That was phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> How do we make it? Okay, we start. By breaking up some ramen. Now we're just gonna use the noodles. Will you eat this entire bag of shrimp flavor? You know I will. Cool. Just checking. <laughs> I mean, just making sure. I like the fact that we don't even need to prove it. It's just like <laughs> yeah, the comments are always yes, yes, yes we he'll know. eat it. It's yeah. Like after the lard, I just have to be really <laughs> careful. <laughs> this is a hundred percent beautiful edible fat that you. you that I know exactly <laughs> what you want me to do. Yes! Wow, I, I I did not see that coming. You, no, because I totally did. Um, oh, never let me down. The hell is it? This is a great episode. Real quick, in my mind, sweet and sour pork is basically like saucy nugs covered in a sweet and sour sauce, right? Yeah, that's Only a good way to put it. Pork, pork nugs? Is uh, that a pork, thing? Pork nugs. Yep. Yeah. Why don't they have pork McNuggets? How do Why don't they have they... beef McNuggets? Why just chicken? By the way, there is an answer to that. The McRib comes and goes based entirely on the price of pork. Really? Yeah. So when it gets cheap enough, suddenly the McRib comes back. I was not aware of that. Yeah. Okay. Busted that conspiracy wide open. What about, what about nugs though? What about beef? There's no steak nugs at McDonald's. McSteak nugs? Yeah, they... That's why you go to Sonic. Where they have all sorts of exotic. They got steak <laughs> fingers. Oh. <laughs> Complete with articulated joints. <laughs> Kung Fu grip. <laughs> they wiggle when you scream at them. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird gimmick that would be. I want to go to Sonic with you. <laughs> they wiggle when you scream at them. <laughs> but, you know, if you scream at the steak fingers, they start wiggling. It's but real only weird. when you're truly angry. Like, if you just scream out of joy, oh, like they're going to be, the, yeah, yeah. Real, they can detect it. Steak fingers can <laughs> yes. detect rage. Now, protein. Oh my god, <laughs> they're real. <laughs> Go ahead, yell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take, put our protein in there, Do macho I have... man style. Like, okay, so there is some protein. We have like a meat base, and yeah. I assume that eventually this meat, not pork, <laughs> right? But also, you know, maybe you know. I don't know how much pork you know, of the McRib is real pork, you know? <laughs> That's a good point. I assume where we're gonna end up is some kind of version of the ramen's gonna end up coating the meat, kind of like, you know, those saucy nugs. Oh, yeah. Are they, am I, I wrong? Mean, or? Yeah, but that sounds way better. <laughs> okay. I love how optimistic and naive you are. It's like, oh, this is how it's going to work and it's going to be a normal thing that people eat on the outside. It's not. It's like, it's not. So now, the oh. pork. Pork rind. Okay, pork rinds are very confusing to me because they smell like bacon and then you taste them and you are sad. Those don't smell like bacon. Now what? Uh, yeah. This is gonna be sweet and sour pork? Yeah, dude. 
What's funny is like, I don't mind eating whatever this turns into, but I, I don't want to eat the, mm. You want to eat the, the pork rind? You want to try it? You want you know? So we got to break those up I a little bit. I want to scream at it and see if it- <laughs> See if it wiggles. We should have drained the water off. I'm but sure it'll be fine. Uh, well, uh, There's not a lot of water in there though. Well here, let's create internet history. Have you ever seen a half made prison version of sweet and sour pork that was drained using a watermelon as the thing that drains it. I can say safely that no one watch it. Oh, by a guy wearing flip flops. Brilliant. Ooh, hot. It's called a watermelon. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I, I'm about to let go, I'm about to let go. Oh, we God. almost dumped it all <laughs> over the- I think, I think we really messed up. It's fine, I'm, it's fine, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, now, everything's getting soft. Yep, look at that, we got our pork in there. Soft like a new inmate. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> it wasn't a simile, it was disturbing and weird. So now, we have our proteins, we yeah. got Slim Jim, we got pork rinds, we got some noodles. Now. Sriracha. You're a fan? I don't know that I've ever really had it. It's a, really it, it, well. It's. I once licked some of that off of Justin Robert Young's face in public. You don't remember that? That might have been me. No, it was a night attack. It was Justin. I'm the one who got a facial. What's that? Did I lick on you? Did I lick I, your I, face? I think you might. Yeah, yeah, if, if you licked a face with sriracha on one it, one night I it, licked it a face that had sriracha. All it, over it was probably me. Okay. For flavor. Okay, how much? I don't know, man. See, that's the thing about prison recipes is that they're kind of freestyle and they're based on what you have. Not just the food, but the tools. And with this, we should be cooking it with a stinger. But I didn't want to do that again. No, because they take 35 years. Oh, God. Yep. Uh, maybe that, that's surely enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Little sriracha goes a long sh way. Sh should I turn this down to low? Probably. And now, boiling off the water is pretty much the same as straining it. It totally is. Okay. Totally I do is. feel like we should put more in. Go for it, dude. Not bad, huh? But we need a little sweetness. Oh, uh, okay. We need a little sweetness, Brian. Yes. From the commissary. There's no sugar in Kool-Aid. The whole point is you have to add the sugar. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This'll just be like cherry, cherry sour. <laughs> well, I don't, okay. Yeah. Oh, it smells great. I mean, it smells like Kool-Aid and pork rinds. I just got a lot less jokey. <laughs> and a little more choky. That's all the sugar you get? It's supposed to be sweet and sour. We put in like 19,000 pounds of sour and then we add one packet of sugar? I think it's gonna go a long way. <sighs> I think it's gonna go a long way. Now, now, we're just about done, man. Look at that. That looks like sweet and sour pork. Like if you went to a restaurant and you ordered sweet and sour pork, <laughs> this is what it would look like. If only there was a way we could test your theory. <laughs> There's not. So this is sweet and sour pork, mm -hmm. huh? Well, I mean, some would say that this is. Okay, so what is, was I right? They're just like, yeah. Dumpling Ooh, nugs. nugs. They got some veggies. We don't have any veggies. Normally you're supposed to pour this all over them? Yeah, pour the sweet and sour sauce all over. Wait, it, it, I, can't, I can't tell if you're messing with me. No, I'm serious. Okay, okay, okay. Do you not usually I, have sweet no, and sour? No, I, I go with something spicy like, like a Kung, Kung Pao, Pao or, or General, General Soap. Yeah. Okay, well, how did you say the things before I said them? Because we literally had the same order yeah, okay. earlier. All right, okay. Do you want to put some rice on there? You got to put some rice. Yeah, I think it's, that's perfect, good, perfect, perfect. perfect. <laughs> All right, <sighs> so we're gonna have to test. Yeah, I, I know where this is going. <laughs> Are you, you okay? You yeah, yeah, I, I, I just, I, I, do you wanna swap orders? <laughs> <laughs> like I'll do okay. one. You do. It, okay. And I'll do this one. Okay. okay. I've never had sweet and sour pork. Oh. So I'm gonna have it for the very first time. All right, here we go. Okay. And you're having whatever that I'm, is. I'm having sweet I, and sour pork as well, my friend. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. It's Kool-Aid flavored noodles. I feel like I just won. I think you just won. I didn't know this was a game, but I, I feel like I just did won. Did you like the sweet and sour pork? That was fine. I'll, yeah, eat, I'll eat more of this. This is sweet and sour noodles. 
These are Kool-Aid flavored noodles, Brian. I have to. You have to eat it. Maybe I got a bad bite. I'm gonna try another one. Oh, that one's got a Slim Jim in it. That's good. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, it's just noodles and Kool-Aid, man. It's noodles <laughs> and Kool-Aid. <laughs> How did we do this wrong? Take, 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 I, I don't think we did it wrong. <laughs> I think in a world with limited options, we followed the recipe as we heard it. You got it. You, you, you got this. Would you like to be reminded of what? What actual food tastes like? <laughs> yeah. Instead of something based on a dare. See, that's amazing. That's great. Yeah? It's just fried pork. Well, I think we settled sauce. that, didn't we? Yep. It's waiting. It's waiting for you. I'm going to stir it up a little bit more. That'll help. I probably didn't stir it. It doesn't help that it sounds like Jabba the <laughs> Hut. <laughs> oh, Chinirongo. The mighty brushwood. Boshuda. <laughs> okay. I think it, it just needs to be stirred. That's all. I, I have developed an eye twitch <laughs> over the shooting of this episode. You got it, man. You got this. I'm feeling... I feel it. You you can do this. You need you need more. God, that looks like a rat. It's whatever. It's, Look at that. It's, it looks like it's got legs. It's got two eyes. That's on it. that is pareidolia, sir. You just no no. I mean, look at that. Dig Tell me that doesn't look like a rat. Did you watch me make the food? You did. You can't send it back. Get a little bit of a bigger bite. A little bit of a bigger bite. One of those pieces of jerky. Not jerky, the stick, the meat stick, the Slim Jim. I don't get I, in there. You got this, man. Did what? Uh, Mouth watering, right? It's delicious. No, it's that flood that comes before you vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Easily confused. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Wow, okay. Oh, there. You need the, the trash can? You all right? You want some water? There's water in them. <laughs> it's just, it's not me, man. It's Andy Roy, professional skateboarder. <laughs> an ex-convict. An ex-convict. Yeah. Don't blame me. You're gonna swallow it, huh? Okay, I'm gonna try another one. Oh, maybe this one will be better. Do you think I stirred it enough? I think I stirred it enough. No, no, no. Ah. Nope. No, no, it's like noodles and Kool-Aid, but then something twisty getting in there. Something a little twist. <laughs> Wait, what, what are you doing? No, no. Hot. Why? Hot, <laughs> too hot. You know what? No, I can't. No. <laughs> Give it 50 years, tell me it's an MRE. <laughs> That's We're back right, in business. Okay, all right, this one's a fail. <sighs> uh, Let me say this much. Having never tried sweet and sour pork before, I, it wasn't that far off. I mean, this is too salty by half. Like my tongue is numb. I know we deviated from whatever Crazy recipe that professional skateboarder and ex-convict. Andy Roy. Andy Roy did. I hope uh, he was not offended by my worst rating ever. Five stars out of five. <laughs> you okay? Do we, need, do we need a bag? You want the trash can? That's right here. Right, so at first I thought, here's the plan, I'll just never die. Yeah. Turns, yeah. turns out not on the menu. Then I had this second idea, which was, oh, I know, I'll just die alone and have nobody who depends on me. And then I was like, ooh, I don't like the way that life looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Event the point is eventually I figured out that it's absolutely important that you get good life insurance. And I don't mean some fake BS sham insurance that you got from a guy who's definitely named Sham, who pulls it out of his trench coat and promises you it also comes with four lottery tickets. I mean real good life insurance. I got mine out. You put the coin in, and you get the little plastic egg out, and that's, then it's like, that's hey. not like, I think that's, that's not... a Kinder egg. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I get them confused a lot. 
And you're right, that is a lot to think about, which is why we love our friends over at Policy Genius. Oh, they are a fantastic marketplace where you can compare policies from all over the place and you can save up to $1,300 a year depending on the policy that you choose. And the best part is you have total control. You get to decide what policy is right for you, whether it's a 10-year policy, 20-year policy. There might even be other numbers of years. I don't know. And they don't sell your information to anyone. Which yeah, is dude. That's important to me. I don't know if this is a real problem or a thing I made up, but I would be terrified to give somebody all of my health information, all of my family information, and not know whether or not they're gonna go sell it to some other company. And they'd be like, hey man, here's a here's a little soft lead for you. They don't do that. That's what sham does. That's but, a, okay, maybe, <laughs> yeah. all right, maybe you are sham. <laughs> <laughs> Rips off beard. <laughs> <laughs> so go to policygenius.com slash modern rogue, or click on the link in the description and take care of the people you love. That's, oh, I like that. You just said love like a confident, you know, I love you, Jason I Murphy. love you, Brian. I love this whole team. I love my family. I love, love everybody who depends on the income we generate, which is why I protect them by visiting the marketplace over at policygenius.com slash modern rogue. Nailed it. Offer and link in the description below. You know how much of a culinary aficionado I am, right? Like, yeah. I know my way around the kitchen. If it microwaves, you might as well be at a rave. A microwave, his day will save. A microwave, for Christ's life he gave. A microwave is why he does not shave. A microwave, easy enough for a knave. It's a microwave because he's not brave. Jason Murphy.